Melee time! Yeah! One more attack, hopefully. Uh, no, more than one. But I'm probably gonna attack him before then. With the uh, card knight, I hope. Make the battle go a little bit faster. Stabby! Stabby, stabby! Bolt. Do damage. Yeah. Epic 20 damage. Now we wait. We wait for it to probably run. Unless it actually tries to attack again. That'd be funny. Oh my god. Is it stupid? Or does it just have a death wish? Let's just end it quickly. And attack! Yeah! White Holy Jewel! Yellow Holy Jewel! Power Rice! Power Rice! White Holy Jewel! Green Power Jewel! Yeah! Congratulations, stage clear! Bonus experience, 315. Bonus mic of 1,561. Epic loading screen. Hey, that was the final floor. Yay! Pillar of Light. Are you alright, Luke? Yes, I'm fine. The light is really fascinating. I wonder if it will take us up. Let's try, Elena. Why not? I mean, it could only just, like, vaporize you instantly or turn your organs inside out. But, no. Wow. Wow. Fantastic. I can't believe it! Questionable plot device, probably? I don't think we've met. I am Toby, a magical puppet of Chalet. Wow, what a strange magical puppet. Excuse me? Yes, Eleanor, that was very rude. Sorry, I'm sorry, Toby. Hmm, that girl is hopeless, but this one looks alright. We've come to see Chalet. Can you tell me where I might find her? Yes, I suppose I could tell you. Follow me. Hey, it's the lady from the intro. In here. And they look ready to fight. For some reason. Miss Chalet, we have guests. You are... Neil and Rufius' children. The names were Luke and Elena? You know about us? Of course I do. Nell and Rufia... We're very close friends of mine. So, what do you... Or, what have you come to see me about? We need your help to stop the goddess from resurrecting. I can't help you. After the war, I decided to never be involved with human affairs again. But why? If the goddess awakens, the world will come to an end. Think of the vast number of people who are going to lose... Or, those they hold most dear. I can't let that happen. As long as the person who summoned the goddess controls her, the world won't end. It, it'll it just change. But actually, I doubt that any human will be able to control her. Chalet. Is that it? Now it's my turn to tell you about Neil and Rufia. About my parents? I have lived and watched more time go by. I was there when the magical puppets were born, and when the Eternalized were persecuted. And when the War of the Goddess broke out, I had no intention of fighting. But Niel, Rufia, the Fairy Nas, the King of Gross, and also Balzar. I couldn't just leave them, so I joined them in battle. 
And we were victorious against the goddess of destruction, Luna. Now it has all ended. Once again, he has two swords there, but in that one scene, he had only one. The goddess possessed terrifying power. It's a wonder we, all, we are all here, still alive. All those times I struggled to forge the seal and thought I can't go on. Well fought, everyone. But it's alright now. Now the people in the world can sleep in peace. No, not quite. There's one last thing. The goddess has gained power by eating millions of souls. If somebody tries to call upon her again, she will cause destruction once more on the face of this earth. She needs to be watched over for several hundred years while her power slowly dissolves. Why 700 years? There's a way to transfer a life into a live soul into a magical puppet, which is forbidden. I will give up my body and do it. That way, I will seal Luna forever. Then I will be with you, right? If I remember rightly, it only works when two eternal lives perform it. Are you two out of your minds? If you become magical puppets, life will not be... Life! You will receive no divine salvation. You will not go to heaven. When did God suddenly come into this? Your souls will slowly fade into nothingness. You will just live long until you become nothing. Chile is right. I can't let you two take up such a burden. Your Majesty, you have a duty to protect the kingdom. Chile has the responsibility to take care of the magical puppets. Nas, being a fairy, cannot leave the forest. The only thing which concerns me my t is my two children. Nas, can I leave them with you? Rufia. Let's begin, Chile. Would you help? Right, stand back, the rest of you. Body of life. Give thyself to this entity without life, and serve forevermore the magical puppet master! Sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle. Did I mention sparkle? Cause yeah, sparkle. Nail and Rufia, have, having given up their souls to become magical puppets, guarded the seal. Balzar became the keeper of the Ring of Domination and the Soul Reaper. That is all you need to know about the history. Balzar and the King. I don't want to know my time ceased from that time. But instead, I'll give you, Elena, part of my memory. You can deci decide the rest for yourself. She does this in a magical flash of light. Elena receives Chile's memory. Go home now, to where you belong. Why are her eyes crimson in in her portrait thingy, but if you look at her actual sprite, she's, uh, well, blue-eyed. What are you planning on doing with me? You're going to host the goddess, the goddess soul, dear. What a privilege! Oh look, there's someone here for you. Whack. Oh yes, could you relay a message to the Eternalized for me? Come to Vili if you want this girl back. That is, if you ever get there alive, you should give up. You know, even if you were Eternalized. See you. Bye. Sparkle, sparkle, flash of light. Chapter 7, or er, 9, I can't count apparently, Dark Cloud. This chalet really got on my, that chalet really got on my nerves, but mom and dad are still alive. Mm. But who would believe that they are still guarding the seal? We have to kill Vorlas and prevent the resurrection of Luna. Then maybe... Anyway, let's go report everything to the princess. Good idea! Luke, the princess has been kidnapped! She has been taken the... Uh, she has been taken to Vili Island! 